Good evening, everybody, and we thank you for joining us tonight. We begin with prosecutors and defense attorneys turning to compromise when it comes to getting cases moving through the courts. It's an effort to reduce the backlog of cases caused by the pandemic. They've agreed on a lesser conviction for first-time DUI offenders. Here's Max Rodriguez and a story from the Pen. This could be another chance for some people arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence. A DUI conviction may not follow some first-time offenders for the rest of their lives, but certain penalties will remain. Defense lawyers and prosecutors are not usually in agreement, but this is an exception. Certain first-time offenders arrested for possible DUI may get a special plea deal for a reckless driving conviction instead which will help get through the backlog of cases in the courts. We've tried to get this uh, plea deal in unique circumstances and we've, you know, rarely or never been able to do it. So um, it's, and yeah, this is definitely an exceptional deal for uh, not available for ordinary circumstances. Both the defense and prosecution agree. This is an unprecedented compromise. From the prosecutor's perspective, the deal still comes with conditions like alcohol education classes, substance abuse assessment, and one year of an ignition interlock device required in the person's car. If the offender goes a year without any legal trouble, his or her record will be cleared. So far, nearly 500 cases have entered into this agreement. You might think, yeah, it's unfair. I mean, wh why should we do this? We're doing this as a compromise to deal with the backlog because if we didn't resolve these cases in this manner, as I said before, chances are good that many of them would be just dismissed. Both sides agree it's impossible for the courts to go through the load of cases backed up in speedy trials. A Mothers Against Drunk Driving representative says it's willing to accept this temporary compromise since the drivers will still go through a year of probation. Any other similar offense could remove the deal. And Matt feels that these are consequences that are adequate so that the person will consider not reoffending in the future. Prosecutors tell me they have over 900 first-time offenders. Now, this deal is in effect through April 2nd, and they tell me they are discussing a possible extension. Max Rodriguez, KHO 2 News, working for Hawaii.